told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way Hey guys, welcome back to another video, welcome back to SDL Cars and welcome back to a brand new video on the Caddy Camper build. Now, before we get into this video, I'm going to address the elephant in the room. I'm going to address this thing that is on my face. Got a moustache, got a moustache, got a moustache. Uh, where has my beard gone? You may be asking if you have watched the videos before, you'll know that normally I have a full beard, whereas now I've got this weird sort of slug thing on my upper lip. Uh, the reason being because I've just, like, I'm doing something new with work, which requires me to have, like, a sort of mask on, and I can't basically have any facial hair under the mask, uh, which will uh, interrupt the seal, uh, but the tash doesn't sit under the mask. So rather than getting rid of my facial hair completely and looking like a 12-year-old boy, uh, I've decided to keep my little moustache for the time being uh, so I can look like some sort of 80s porn star instead. Uh, but, yeah, so that's why I've got no beard, and that's why I've got this funky-looking tash on my face. I just thought I'd address that at the start of the video. But anyway, let's uh, get into this one. So we are on the Caddy Camper again, and we are going to be installing the sink and tap in this video into the kitchen unit. So without further ado, let's get into it, and we'll show you exactly what we've got to fit uh, in the van today. So here is the tap that we've got. We have had this previously fitted just so it uh, just to test it out, but it's basically one that can pull out so we can have it out over the side of the van, use it as a little kind of shower to rinse things off if we need to and then so we've already cut the hole for that in the worktop but this is the sink that we've got it's just a little 30 centimeter by 30 centimeter sink with a little drain board and that should hopefully i'm going to cut the hole out that should slot perfectly into there uh, just to quickly show you the water sort of setup uh we'll show you when it's all done but got this little 12 volt diaphragm pump used all these john guest 12 mil fittings which works perfectly and then it's going to drop into the tanks here uh, this one's going to be the clean water, this one's going to be the wastewater. So what we're going to do is whip the top of the unit off, basically measure out the hole, cut the hole out for the sink, that'll drop in, and then we'll basically then silicone it in place and fit it all up. So I'm going to take the top off and then we'll show you us cutting the hole for the sink to drop into. So we have measured it up, we've got our templates, so this is like the inner cut that we're going to do, so we're going to drill four holes in each corner, and then we'll get the jigsaw and just track along and then the sink should slot straight in. So come back once we've drilled out this, uh, or drilled the holes and then cut this out. Right, so we have now got the tap hole cut out and we've got the sink hole cut out. It's not that, like, great, but you're not going to see it. It's going to sit underneath, so we're just going to sand these edges off, but it doesn't really matter how sort of neat it is because you ain't going to see it once the sink's in. So we've just test fit the sink in and that fits perfectly and nice and flush which is good i think it looks pretty good um so we're just going to get this in place now back up on the unit and then we can silicone it all in place and stick it down and then we get the tap back in and hopefully it's all working so we have got the worktop back in now uh it looks pretty good we've just test fit the sink and it fits into the hole nicely so we're going to just reinstall the tap into here get it all sort of plumbed up and then we will look at getting the um, sink silicone in place and then we'll get all the plumbing done and then yeah should be good to go but it's looking good so far so let's get the tap back installed and then we'll go from there so guys the sink and the tap are now fully installed and it looks absolutely wicked i'm so pleased with how it's turned out um like this is going to be a really short video just showing how we've done it but i'll flip the camera around and show you the final result what it looks like show you all the sort of under the sink setup and how we've done all the plumbing and yeah, let me know what you guys think, and let's uh, show you the final result. So there we go, guys. You can see there is the sink and the tap. Now, we'll take a look under the sink first to show you how it's all set up. So in here, as I said before, we have these John Guest 12mm push fittings. So we've got all of them hooked up to the tap. This is um, sort of a general house tap, but I like the look of it, and it's got the ability to pull out as well so we can sort of hang it out the back of the van but yeah so essentially just got a 12 volt diaphragm pump connected by all the john guest fittings into a 10 litre water tank we've just drilled a hole into the lid and then slotted the pipe down through there and it's pretty snug so hopefully no water should be getting out of there same again with the waste pipe which comes off the sink literally just drilled a hole just big enough for that to slot in nice and snug so again shouldn't be uh, shouldn't leak any water out there when we're driving 
and then the sink is here so it is just a it's like a plasticky type sink it was just off ebay i think it was about 55 60 pound but that included the sink and the plug and all that sort of stuff and it sits really nice and slim got loads loads of space still under there which is really good and it all works and the 12 volt pump just automatically turns off once the pressure is obviously the back pressure stops it from pushing any more water out so you can just leave the pump switched on all the time it is a bit loud but i'm not overly concerned but yeah we can show you it working so just turn the tap on there we go we've got running water and you can change it to that like sort of spray and then yeah and you turn the tap off and the pump stops and you can just see hear it trickling down through the waste pipe into the waste tub so there we go guys we have the sink installed into the uh into the van you're probably seeing a little sneak peek of the uh the bed uh, i will be doing a video on that and um, showing you how we've sort of put all that together uh, which we have done obviously before we've done the sink but it's coming out in a bit of a weird order but there we go there is the sink installed into the caddy so guys if you did like this video remember to go and hit that like button hit the subscribe button hit the little bell icon as well so you don't miss out on any of the latest videos and if you did like this video make sure you go and leave a little comment let me know what you think of the sink let me know what you think of the caddy camper build overall so far but until next time guys we'll see you then As you fade away. Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong